Subscribe to this channel and like this video if you already have Christmas decorations up. Life squeeze, baby! Let's go! 270 plus the 10 from Poison. Our deck is working perfectly. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is JW Creewall, aka Flex Daddy, and today I have another fan favorite Friday deck to share with you. Now, today's comes once again from Dakota Feldkamp, who writes next week Ninjask and Shedinja from Vivid Voltage. Well, I'm gonna let you down a little bit with this list because it does include Shed Ninja, but sorry, Dakota, does not include Nin Jask, but that's okay because I am the streamer and I can do whatever I want. So this is your Fan Favorite Friday submission. If you wanna get in on the action for next week's video, please make sure to go down below into the comments and leave your favorite deck idea or deck list. And if your comment gets the most upvotes, then I will play it on next week's video. So let's take a look at our Shed Ninja deck. And I thought, this might be a good one to put in the expanded format. Let's take a look at Shed Ninja and what this boy does. Shell survival is the ability. And this is one of the rare times that we see an ability that's actually a negative. It's a hindrance to this Pokemon. It says, put this Pokemon into play only with the effect of Ninjask's cast off shell ability. So even though Shed Ninja is a basic Pokemon, because of its ability, you technically can't play it down to your field. Weird, I know for a lot of reasons. So there's Life Squeeze as the attack, three colorless energy, put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. That's so valuable. There's a lot of things we can do with this card and you know you can do a ton of damage, right? To any Pokemon that you play, but you're gonna leave them alive. So how do we do that last 10 damage? Well, we got ourselves some Hypnotakis Glazer and we also have Galarian Zigzagoon if we so need it. Now, how are we going to attack with Shedinja? Well, since it's a basic Pokemon, we can use Marshadow GX. Now, Marshadow GX with the ability Shadow Hunt, this Pokemon can use the attacks of any basic in your discard pile. So we can just power up a Marshadow with the appropriate energy and then smack down with the Shedinja using that Life Squeeze attack. Got the laser, got the Life Squeeze, we also have Tapu Koko plus Double Colorless and Lightning Energy in order to be able to power up a Marshadow in one turn. We're also copying here Raihan to be able to do that as well. We also have a Focus Sash in the list. That's one of the nice things about playing a fighting type main attacker is that you get to utilize Focus Sash. And uh, it's a cute little wrinkle that will keep your Marshadow alive with 10 HP if it gets swung into. So that is a list, pretty standard, conventional, expanded list for you guys. You're going to see just how this one performs in these next few games. If you haven't already and you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. Your like could be the difference between somebody else seeing this content and uh, possibly coming into this channel themselves. So if you want to help this channel grow, then liking the video is one of the easiest ways to do that. So let's get into the games. Would I like to go first? It's actually a good question. I think in the expanded format, I probably want to go second. So I'm going to choose second here. Um, it's not a horrible draw. We do get the laser. We do get the uh, shed engine, the discard pile, but like my opponent could play a silent lab and we're just done if he does that. <laughs> so, okay. Against the Volcarona deck, I feel fairly positive um, in this matchup. It's going to be a little bit difficult because we only have the three Marshadow. Um, so I'm like immediately thinking that maybe I want four. What I'm going to look to go for here on the first turn of the game is a Cobalion because then they can attack and maybe we can get the advantage off um, in the matchup. Like obviously our deck looks to play against tag team decks, right? Um, that, that should be fairly, fairly certain here. Love what's going on with the Marshadow. He just wigging out in the active spot love to play against the tag team decks obviously we have the echoing horn so we can bring back up a tag team and knock it out twice we just gotta wait the ten thousand years for my opponent to uh, finish their first turn i know that's one of the things that andrew says is kind of negative about the expanded format but i don't necessarily feel so um i kind of like expanded but that's just me so let's go here We'll Ultra Ball, and we will grab 
Let's see, we can play that, we can play this. I think it's Crobat hours, it's real Crobat hours here. And then we'll look to get a Dedenne going, I think, but let's go do this, Skadoosh. I didn't check to see if we had Cobalion, but um, yeah, we're gonna need Cobalion. Let's do, do the attach here. That's a little risky, but I'm willing to go for it. And we find ourselves with a Battle Compressor. That's actually huge. Let's go Battle Compressor the Egg. Battle Compressor the, um, Battle Compressor the, I was like, oh, do I want the Cobalion out or not? We need a research, so let's do that. We could get a float stone, but I'm confident that we'll draw into one, so let's do that. Let's get the Cobalion, just worst comes to worst, we can pitch, uh, or we can use the Iron Rule GX. Well, or do we want the electric energy? I'm really kinda, oh no, we got one in hand. Okay, okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, really kinda hoping that um, we, can, we can find some electric energy. So let's go propagate, and we will, do this and grab ourselves. We have to be really careful with our hypnotoxic lasers because we're going to be down two lasers as well as the um, two lasers as well as the dowsing machine. So we just again got to be got to be a little bit cautious here. Um, what we could do is we could ultra ball, or I could just battle compressor and make it a little bit of a thinner deck. So I think. What I'll do is make the deck a little bit better with the battle compressor. Hope we can draw into quick balls and things such as that. There we are, there we are. We'll discard that. And then let's discard another uh, lightning energy. I think that seems very apropos, don't you? Don't you? Professor's research. And we do get the float stone. But will we find a quick ball is the question. So let's go ahead and pitch a battle compressor. Um, let's pitch these as well. Um, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Give ourselves some options and then I think everything else we kind of want to keep in the deck, don't we? Let's do that. Let's go trainer's mail. We do get a quick ball. So that is gonna be an attack for us if we want it, and I think we do. So let's go here with the execute, propagate it up. Quick ball. Out the Coco. Or, hmm. We could to Dene and try to find the Coco later. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be a little bit risque here. <laughs> Let's do this, let's do this. Trainer's mail, maybe we'll get it here. Oh, we do get an Ultra Ball, so that is going to be a uh, another uh, Coco that we can find here. So let's go execute. My opponent is just like, what is this guy doing? Get your turn over with already. Basically, the reason I'm going so hard for the Coco is because I want to be able to attach to two um, different uh, Mars Shadow. So we do find that as well. Let's go here. Propagate it up and we'll ultra ball away. I, I really don't think we need to Dene. And yeah, they are going to concede because they know they can't win. Let's go. Got a couple of pieces of good news in the Pokemon sphere. We have our first coaching. Ooh, do I give up the Tapu Coco? Um, first coaching for Palette of Friends tonight. If you don't know what Palette of Friends is, you can check out the podcast that I did regarding Palette of Friends. Um, dude, the fully blinged out deck. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, let's give him a little smiley face. <laughs> um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. My smiley face. My emotes are uh, clearly bugging out here. So let's uh, go ahead and pitch a couple of things. We're just going to grab ourselves a Marshado. And then we, of course, have that double colorless energy. So go here, go here, and go here. Pitch that. We're down one laser. You hate to see it. Not really much else going on, which is a shame. But 
it is what it is. I'm, I'm really hoping, like, we have a laser and a zigzagoon. We can come back from that. We don't necessarily need it all. But you want to save, you know, these lasers, these zigzagoons for a little bit later on in the game. So we'll see if we can't do that. There is a battle compressor from my opponent. They are probably playing an ADP deck. Which we can definitely beat. We can definitely beat the ADP deck. It's going to take a little bit of luck for us. But um, it is certainly possible. So there's a battle compressor for my opponent. Likely will find themselves like... Um, well, we see the lightning energy. Dude, they're fully blinged out, bro. <laughs> bro, chill. Bro, chill. And there is a trainer's mail. I would have loved to get my opponent to fall asleep there off the laser. Because they probably wouldn't be able to retreat out of that. Most of these decks in the expanded format right now, super greedy. They're only playing float stones. Obviously, the Guzma is another way to switch. But usually, they don't want to be using Guzma on the first turn of the game. You want to be searching out stuff. So let's see what we can do. There is a Lele for a research. And they are going to be digging. Oh, second thing. A second cool thing. My brother is picking up an interest in the Pokemon trading card game. So if you guys got any extra EXs or GXs or whatnot. Yeah, see, there's the Floatstone. If we had just flipped heads on the sleep, we would have been in a super good spot. But even so, going to be able to take out this ADP. No sweat. There's a comp search. They're going to grab a card for next turn. The Dene. Just kidding. For this turn. But yeah, if you guys have any extra you know, V's or V maxes or GX's or anything really um, that you don't want, or you have extras of get in touch with me. Um, I know somebody that can put them to good use. So there's the Tampa Coker. They're going to dance. The ancient seems like a wise move because we are going to take out this, uh, this active going to go on the Lele and onto the Dragonite. They're not really leaving themselves with much of a backup plan here. Once their active goes down, but that is okay. So. What can we do? We're going to have to pitch the Zigzagoon. Let's go Hypnotoxic Laser. Blazer. Taser. Taser face. Taser face? I hardly know her face. Um, Do we need the Zigzagoon? We, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. So let's go discard the Field Blower. Discard the Zigzagoon. And um, we could lay lay here. But I think we want to just research. So I'm going to actually grab... Oh, I think the best play is to grab shit inja. We do have two of those left. What I'd love to get is the focus sash here. That would be super good. Obviously, we need the float stone. So a lot of things we need here off of the or the Dene. Let's go. Yeah, let's get the let's get the shit inja. And then we'll attach here. Play the chaotic swell. I doubt they play anything but chaotic swell themselves. But there's our Dene. Um Shoot, we get the escape rope, but not, not what we want. Wow, we just need a way to switch out this active. So a quick ball, try to thin the deck by one more. Escape rope is just not going to do it for us. So let's see what we can grab here. There's the quick ball. Let's see if we can't get a float stone off this trainer's mail. And we don't. Shucks. Okay, that hurts. Let's go battle compressor away this, this. Wow, I'm really depressed. We didn't get what we needed there. Off of that research, or off of that Dedenne, I should say. So let's do those. And we have to just pass. Because I can't escape rope. Let's just pass. The um, the pseudo wudo also kind of kind of messes with us a little bit. So we'll see what they have. Um, obviously we're not um in a losing position necessarily. Uh, we are in a losing position there. So let's go ahead and scoop it on up to game number three. They're gonna take their three prizes. We just missed it there on that one turn. So I want to make sure we get some good games in. They're gonna obviously smoke us here. They got Dragonite. That's just one energy away. So let's concede. We'll go to game three. And see where that takes us. Don't you hate just losing to people that have max rarity decks? Honestly, it triggers me more than you know. But 
We have an opportunity here to make it a winning day going two and one with our Shed Ninja deck. See if we can make some magic happen. Going to go ahead and Dedenne. We start with our Cobalion. Not where you want to be here with that. But we at least have like uh, some supporter stuff for next turn. And we'll just have to pass. I don't really want to use my Dowsing Machine again. It's like very important that we conserve Hypnotoxic Lasers when we can. Obviously, this is going to be an ADP deck. And again... Again, we see ourselves with, with a failed flip on the Hypnotoxic Laser Sleep. They only have the Floatstone. If we could have just stuck them for one turn, that would have been huge. We can't even use our Cobalion because it has to be in the discard pile here for our Marsh Shadow. So, going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. We obviously need, uh, we need some juice. We need some squeeze. We need some juice. Oh, no. Are they going to Vika Volt us? Okay, thank goodness, dude. So we do see an Altered Creation. And it's going to be our go. What can we do? Is there anything that we can Stormy Mountains for? I don't believe so. But give it a look. Oh, <laughs> of course there is. It's the Tabu. <laughs> uh, that was very fortuitous. Let's go here. And we do get a Quick Ball. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's quick, uh, excuse me, field blower away those couple of cards. Is there anything in my discard pile that I want to reuse? I don't think so. Feels like a very end turn to me. So let's quick ball for, we could research if we really desire. Um, I want to save the dowsing machine. So I think I will. end. so let's grab the Marshado. And wow, wow, we need a lot. We need a lot. Yeah, we really do need some stuff. We could have like goose mud. No, oh man. Okay, maybe maybe I want to play that for the laser here. So maybe I want to go dowsing machine for laser and guarantee that we have a laser. It's one less piece that we need. So let's do that. Let's go dowsing machine for laser. I know I I waffled back and forth. I know I regret it. Or you know what? Honestly. We're just, <laughs> we're going to do the quick ball. I'm not going to give my, we, <laughs> we literally did the exact opposite of what we said. We were gonna do. <laughs> That's that rocks. You ever find yourself in that position where you just do the exact opposite of the thing you said you were going to do. It's fine. It's completely fine. So let's go laser here. Um, we'll do, we, we basically will have to do a research. Or excuse me, an N unless we get a battle compressor. Let's go. So we'll battle compressor away. We can battle compressor away our two lightning energy. And that means we will get a knockout here with that Marsh Shadow with a tool attached. That is huge. And let's get, let's get this in the discard pile. Now, I do want to save the Echoing Horn. So I will N. And that actually does seem like the correct play from us here. Because if we N then we can save the Echoing Horn, that we can force them to play another ADP. Yeah, and I mean, this is just looking super good, super good here for us. Um, let's go Battle Compressor, and we will get an egg in the discard pile. Let's do a Spear Tomb, it's fine. And we'll also put, like, I don't know, Chaotic Swell. Ah, uh, we should keep the Chaotic Swell in case they play Silent Lab. And then we will call it there. Let's discard the other Battle Compressor. I don't think we will need that. So let's do those. Let's go ahead and quick ball away the shed engine, just thinning our hand a little bit, and we'll attach an energy for turn with the Tapu Coco. Let's go there and there. Boom, boom. We'll get our energy attachment for turn. Bada bing, bada boom. Yo dinner. Life squeeze, baby. Let's go. 270 plus the 10 from poison. Our deck is working perfectly. Taking that knockout there on the ADP, looking super, super good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Big boss? Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. More like big hoss. And the cool thing, oh shoot. 
We actually can't do it. Yes, they scooped. They didn't have anything. Let's go. That was our Marshadow deck, guys. Our Shedinja Marshadow deck. Super fun. Got to check this one out. The link to, uh, you know, the deck list is down in the description below. So check that out. If you have a crazy deck list or deck idea for Fan Favorite Friday, please make sure to drop that in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, it means the world to me. So catch our next week's video based on the comments from this week's video, and I'll see you then. Remember, good luck, and also have fun.